So welcome back to another episode of FIFA History. Today we are playing the 1960s football match from the journey in FIFA 19. I thought it was the right time to once again return to FIFA 19 and revisit this pretty unique match. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like for me and make sure you subscribe for more FIFA History videos. <sighs> Sir. Have a good match. I will. Hundredth goal's been hard to come by, eh, Jimmy boy? No harder than the first 99. I'll be thinking you'll be getting it now, my son. Alright, so here we go. It's very, very cool to come back here. And just in case you're wondering, if you do miss the volley, you have to keep replaying the corner kick until you actually score. So if you miss it again, it just keeps repeating itself. We'll try and score this one. The key is not to put too much power. And there you go, there's your goal. So that's pretty much it. You can see, um, you know, there's a lot of mud on the field, on the jerseys and that. There's no Nike, no Adidas branding. It's just generic jerseys, classic kits, of course, and a lot of mud as well. Uh, pretty old school hairstyles, I would say, as well. You know, it looks the part. Everything looks the part. It has to be one of the coolest things to ever come out of a FIFA game, to be honest. I wish they had this mode in FIFA 23. Even just the ability to play one game like this, people would still play it. You can see old school sort of menus as well. If we go to settings... You can toggle the settings you want. There's also commentary for this, and it's actually commentary by John Motson. So I'll leave some commentary clips at the end of this video to listen to, but at the moment the commentary is off. But um, you can see the stadium as well. There's black lines that go across my screen, sort of like a retro look, and uh, also the stadium is very retro looking. The crowd is as well. There's nothing fancy, no ad boards. A couple ball boys around, of course. Referees have some old school kits as well. We just bulldoze that guy off the field. And uh, that's pretty much your 1960s match in FIFA 19. I always like coming back here. I wish EA did more with this. There was a lot of cool stuff in the journey that uh, we never saw again. As you can see, the mud on that shirt there was incredible as well. But um, yeah, classic kits, classic scoreboards, no ad boards, no fancy graphics. Commentary was classic as well. And let's see what we can do here with Jim Hunter. Left foot, and how did he miss? Wow. Let me know if you played the journey. Let me know if you completed all three games of the journey. I know a lot of people tried it, they didn't like it. It was alright, it could have been a bit better. But um, it did bring in some cool stuff that we never really saw again. So hopefully in the future we'll get some more unique features. Let's play it in the middle right here. Play through the gap and chip the keeper. There we go, it's going in, there's the goal. Let's see the fancy celebration from 1960. There you go, sliding on the mud. You can see uh, old school replays as well, look at that. You've got the replay coming up on the right, top right. It's a nice little goal actually, we worked it well. Here's Roberts, plays it up the field. Of course, this is Manchester United versus Coventry. I don't think it's the official players, but we'll play it across the floor. What a ball and what a goal. Wow, what a cross. Here's Evans. Lewis lays it off with a back heel. Another Lewis there with the finish. What a goal. We made up for that penalty. So we're coming to the end of this game, and obviously, you know, there's not much to it. You play about 20 minutes or so of the game. You try and score as many goals as you can. And uh, obviously, they could have done more with this mode. It would be nice to have a classic game mode in FIFA as well. But unfortunately, we don't always get what we want, do we, with FIFA? But at the end of the day, it's nice to come back, play around with it. Every year, it's good to come back at least once, like I do, and just relive that FIFA history, and that's what we've done today. It's always fun, man. It's always fun to have unique stuff in a FIFA game. And at the time, I remember being very, very impressed with this. And it still impresses me to this day, man. It's very, very nice, well put together. And hopefully they can do more with this one day. Who knows? Well, what an entertaining match this has been. And a little 
bit of football history as well. Who will forget Jim Hunter's incredible 100th career goal? I can't believe they played football on the telly back in the Stone Ages. Hey, I'll tell you what. Granddad was a proper player. Can't even get a rise out of you. You're all business as usual. Of course, back then we didn't have all the fuss you lot get these days, you know. We played for 150 quid a week if we won. Come on, really? Uh, to us, it was all about just playing the game. <laughs> hey, look at that. Sweet as a nut, eh? <laughs> Not easy keeping a shot like that on target. And they've swung it right in. And he's really having a go here. Oh, and it's there. Jim Hunter equalizes with his 100th career goal. And what a beauty it was. Left foot volley, caught sweet as a nut. That's one he won't forget in a hurry. Oh, here we go again. It's one all. Here's Robinson. Now Davis. No, the pass just wasn't good enough. Oh, he ought to get his cross in here. Corner, and no slip-ups at all from the goalkeeper. They'll be jumping for this one in the middle. Oh, that's the way to relieve your lines. Quite a routine save there, really. Well, as we know, the beautiful game is always evolving, and it looks like we're on the horizon for yet another change. FIFA has announced that for the 1970 World Cup, they're going to introduce red and yellow cards as ways to better manage infractions Two yellow cards would equal a red, and any red card will see the player removed for the rest of the game and potentially banned from following fixtures. No confirmation yet as to whether it will come to the first division, but it's going to be interesting to see how liberal the referees are with the use of these cards. Hopefully, we don't see games of seven against six. Oh, that was so incisive. Oh, he's in a great position. He must score. He just got underneath it there. Manchester United with the ball. Oh, this is a long way out, but what a shot. And that's a goal, there's no doubt about it. Here's Lewis. Oh, that's a great goal. Well, there's the final whistle. Disappointing result for Coventry, especially considering how well they played over the first 50 or 60 minutes. But this game will be remembered for Jim Hunter's 100th career goal. What a way to mark the milestone with a cracker of a volley. Thanks for joining us here. We hope to see you again next time.